In the future, we can all look forward to glass that easily breaks. You know you're the girl of my dreams. Foreshadowing. Even if this is a false dream state, I think a lot of dudes would prefer to stay in this reality forever. Man, I didn't realize how much product placement was in this movie when I first saw it. In the year 2084, we're still killing trees to print magazines and newspapers. And they accurately predicted square aspect ratios and annoying vertical videos. Also, they somehow predicted a proto-Elon Musk wanting to rule over Mars. And here are a couple of extras looking into the camera. They also predicted annoying video ads in public transportation. But I'm a little disappointed that construction technology hasn't evolved in 100 years. Instead of using construction robots, we're still using jackhammers, but no longer use hard hats. On the plus side, we're able to check out Arnold's guns in action, which is nice. I'm loving all this futuristic tech, like the retro 1980s typewriters with the giant monitor on it. What's up with this slide in his sales deck? First of all, what the hell's been going on in shuttle technology because that's an alarming rise in fatalities. Also, it's not exactly a reassuring slide. With recall, you only have a 1 in 14 chance of dying. You got lost luggage. Thank you, and enjoy your stay on Mars. <laughs> Lousy weather. <laughs> Crooked taxi drivers. I got four kids to feed. We offer you a choice of alternate identity. Uh, there's only four options. I noticed that mankind never solves the problem of nearsightedness because there are a lot of people wearing glasses in the future with retro 1980s frames. At Recall, we employ a painless, non-invasive method of sedation to ensure the most enjoyable and comfortable customer experience. And uh, would you like us to integrate some alien stuff? Alien stuff? Their marketing department needs to do some work on that wording. They make it sound like something kinky a hooker would say. You into any butt stuff, sugar? That'll be an extra hundred credits. Been married long? ADS. Been away for a little hanky panky. Uh, can we do this procedure with a male technician instead? Because you're kind of making me lose wood over here. And why didn't we do this questionnaire before you sedated me? Wow, they really blew the budget with these lifelike models. Where the hell they get this thing from? A 1970s blow-up doll catalog? And the oriental option is a Japanese geisha from the 18th century? Oh wait, why didn't you just use a real model like this one who looks exactly like Melina? And those are the only three options? And is sleazy the best term your marketing department could come up with? What about wanton? Don't worry, things hardly ever f up around here. Well, that's not very professional. It must be because he's a low-level tech. Use your head, you dumb bitch! HR would like to have a word with you, Mr. McLean. Well, at least a woman would never act that inappropriately in the workplace. Talking about the f agency! Shut up! I'll give them props. They accurately predicted the robo-taxis, too. But thankfully, we don't have to make annoying small talk with them. You know what, can we just skip all the small talk? How was your trip to Mars? Harry is going to perform a nice, quiet, covert abduction in public view. I like how no one hears any of this fighting and shooting. Court is a delusion. How come there's no blood on her shoulders? Oh look, a cool video phone. Actually, if the only option is to do a video FaceTime call in the future, that would really suck balls. I feel like Lori could have waited for a much better opportunity to ambush him instead of blindly firing in the dark. Quaid, you gotta watch your doodads with this one. I'm now aiming precisely at your groin. I kick him in the nuts so hard they go crawling up inside his brain for refuge. Clever girl. Clever girl. I've got him. Why didn't you use your tracker two minutes earlier when he walked right by you? So none of those four guards could intercept him? He's right there. And they see some other guys with guns and just let them go by. That's not cool, man. It appears that firearm technology has pretty much stayed the same in a hundred years because that looks exactly like a micro Uzi with a little extra flare. They could have never predicted that 20 years later, everyone on that subway would actually have their phones out to record this all in portrait mode. I'm loving these compact video phones. And really, a payphone? You couldn't copy Star Trek's communicators, which were around since the 60s? Even in 1990, we had car phone technology. 
this proto Karen shows that they also accurately predicted that people would become bigger a holes in the future. F you, you asshole! Eat this! You guys gave up pretty quick. Your car is right there. Fine, let's just give up and go on home. Imagine if robot taxis asked for payment after riders got off. And how come the first Johnny Cab didn't charge him? Also, I can't believe 100 years in the future we're still using easily explodable gasoline combustion engines. Why did he leave those two surprisingly chill rats there? In the year 2084, we'll still be using cash, except it'll be easily counterfeited Monopoly money. And we all know this is more accurate. In a year. And 100 years from now, IDs are still made using typewriters and lamination. The biggest difference is if he saw that video today, he'd assume it was a deep fake and the movie would be over. We picked up an explosion at the old cement factory. How exactly did you pick up the explosion? Wouldn't it make more sense to say that you tracked the taxi since GPS technology was around even in the 1970s? Just put it out. I feel like that would cause permanent damage to his nose. And did you really have to make the tracker that big and ball-shaped? Really? It takes these morons that long to realize that they're shooting blindly at rats? Hello, new ringtone. Get your ass to Mars. Get your ass to Mars. I gotta say, the passports of the future seem pretty easy to counterfeit. Who is this? Space soldier Kramer? Have you brought any fruits or vegetables onto the planet? Two weeks! Excuse Hello, me. new reminder tone. Two weeks. Get Why does he run towards the bomb? So we never invented stronger, bulletproof plexiglass? Hey, I had the exact same calculator in high school. Three years earlier on Robocop by the same director, Ronnie Cox played almost the exact same character. He's a cyborg, you idiot! Ah, top-down management at its finest. With all the rebel attacks, they didn't set up any security checkpoints or have his photo circulated. No facial recognition cameras. Come on, I got five kids to feed, man. Seems you've left something in our safe. Could I borrow your pen, please? Hmm. Koi doesn't know his own handwriting. <laughs> he ain't got five kids to feed. I got five kids to feed. How many kids? Five. Wow. This must be a retro 1980s bar of the future based on the music, hairstyles, and clothes. Three of a kind beats a pair. For years, I didn't realize that this was Hank Schrader until I heard his voice. I hear you're quite an animal. Look who's talking. It's a symbol of your desire to return to reality. It's a symbol of your desire to return to reality. Now you've done it! So Quaid has been taking out your guys left and right, so you only send four men to take him while you chill out at the bar? I got him first. You could go dick shot, then head shot, then dick shot. Just mix it up a little something. How did Molina know which hotel he was in? A hundred years from now, the bottles and cans look exactly the same as 1990. And humans are still drinking sugary sodas, but no one's fat, unless you count the two weeks fat suit. Did they smuggle all these guns into the planet? Is this supposed to be Mars or the US? Hello, new Instagram profile pic. After only two minutes, they're already out of air? Give these people air! Open your mind. Whoa, these drilling machines are amazing. They can cut through rock like butter. They really should try these at his job. Hey man, you can't leave Quado exposed and hanging out like that. Forget it, man. How did he shoot Quado from that angle facing away from him? He's not even in handcuffs, but these four lab geeks are able to easily manhandle him. See you at the party. See you at the party, Richter! You have to make a decision, sir. Kill him. You can't just recapture him? Some BFF you turned out to be. Hey man, now who's gonna take care of his five kids? Or was it four? Oh shit, man, you got me. He ain't even married. Now put your hands in the air. I like how everyone is so confident that they know exactly what this half a million year old alien technology is gonna do when you put a human hand over this thing. Okay, half those dudes would be dead from the crossfire. And Melina somehow knows how to operate his hologram watch. Impressive. Richter actually holds his own against a dude twice his size. See you at the party, Richter. Oh, well, I'll see you at the party later on tonight. 
Who gives a shit you believe? Blow this place up and be home in time for cornflakes. Why not just shoot him in the leg and put him back in the memory machine? I feel bad for his caterer who prepared all the food, but there's no one at his party. Just like the nose thing, I feel like their eyes and faces would be permanently jacked up after ballooning up like that. Who knew aliens on Mars also breathed oxygen millions of years ago and could change the planet's entire atmosphere in two minutes flat? Okay, this blue sky on Mars makes me think it was a fever dream after all. You are a top operative, back under deep cover on your most important mission. People are trying to kill you left and right. You meet this beautiful, exotic woman. But you rest assured, by the time the trip is over, you get the girl, kill the bad guys, and save the entire planet. Just a dream. It was just a dream. Not just a dream. It was just a dream. A terrible, terrible dream. A dream. Just a dream. Oh, what have we been doing all this time? 